All right, let's see what the final scene is like. Are you leaving right away? Oh, the pioneers are leaving? Yes, we have much to do. Uh, well, it was still nice for them to show up for when they did. It was pretty dramatic and pretty cool. Be that as it may, stay. We'll prepare a banquet tonight. Hmm. <laughs> She's thinking about it hard. Should I? Yes, just it's one night. As if thou had to inquire further, get thyself ready to move out. No matter how grueling that skirmish was, we must continue our march onwards. One night! At least wait here a moment. I'll fix you something for the road. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Man. Well, I guess the story has to reset back to where it needs to be with these three wandering. But I hope that that's not their permanent status. Like, I hope they just join the commander or at least join the last kingdom. It would have been nice. They have every, they have a lot of reason to be here. No, it's fine. We'll scrounge up what we can on the way. Where are you going? Man, they're really in a hurry. Nayuta has summoned us. Wait, Nayuta? Who's that? Damn it, I'm pretty good with the lore. I don't know, is that is that a new character? Nayuta? Yes. If that slowpoke is calling for us, she must have found something big. Hmm. Potential future hottie? Do you think it's intel on the queen? Oh, we're progressing, chat. Most likely. Finally. Don't get your hopes up too much. It might not be. Anyway, we should head out right away. Hmm. What about Mary and Kilo and Talos? Oh my gosh, they're gonna leave without saying bye to them. They're all resting. Considering all they went through, it's hardly surprising. Do you have anything for them? Hmm. They're leaving. They're abandoning Marion all over again. None. Just tell them to take care. Same. Me too. <sighs> oh well. Farewell, pioneers. Okay. Thanks to all of you, we were able to protect the kingdom. Nice. As the king, I must extend to you my most sincere gratitude. If things get dangerous once again, don't hesitate to call on us. They were able to respond to the distress call, so it's kind of like they aren't that far away. They're just, I don't know, doing something out there in the wilderness. I hope they explain what their goal is wandering on the surface separately, you know? They are a team. They might as well just stay together. Although I can't guarantee that we'll be able to make it every time, we will do our utmost to get here as soon as possible. All right, everyone. We'll be off. Be safe. Hope to see you again. The pilgrims way before leaving. Hmm. hmm. I'll prepare dinner. Okay. We'll leave it to you. Marion! Oh, she's blushing and smiling. Hey, Kilo. How are you holding up? I'm fine. Talos did a good job fixing me up. Wait, he can fix her? That's crazy. Kind of weird. And Kilo fixed me. All right. I mean, that makes sense. Nice. I'm glad. How are you? I'm fine. All I did was spectate for most of it. Then you must have seen Crown in action. I did. I didn't get to see it. Oh yeah, they, they passed out. <laughs> I heard she caused an entire horde of raptures to explode just by waving her hand. That's pretty nuts. I'm, I'm hoping, and I'm pretty sure that that, the Naked King is gonna come into play later against like, I don't know, the battle against the queen or other heretics. That'd be pretty cool. That must have been remarkable. <laughs> She's blushing at the thought of that. Talos decided to analyze Crown's armor. We're hoping to reduce the burden it places on the wearer and potentially even move into mass production. Wait, is that a good idea? If we made that happen, wiping out the raptures would be a piece of cake. That sounds like a recipe for disaster. Wipe them out? Yes. You want to kill all of the raptures? Oh no, Marion. She's a rapture sympathizer. Uh, yeah. You were wondering what Crown looked like on the battlefield. I...
was terrified at what I saw. <gasps> Marion, are you okay? Wow. It struck fear in her. Oh, I... I I'm okay. S sorry, I think I'm still a bit tired. Should I bring you some water? N no, it's okay. Really. Mm, I like how Marion is right now. Far more mature. And very pretty. With the new outfit. Should we head down? It's time for the banquet. Okay, sure. After the banquet. I've sent Marion and Kilo upstairs. What? We don't get to see it? At least a graphic? It was a great meal, Chime. Don't mention it. Chime, I have something I wish to imagine about the future. Wish to imagine about the future. I think you mean to say discuss, your highness, not imagine. Ah, yes, that's right. Discuss. What is it? I think we should let Marion meet that person. Commander? Do you mean the commander? Huh? Huh? Yes. So there is something. Yes, I hope it's nothing, but... Hmm. I've got an ominous feeling, and it's almost never wrong. Almost like she's required to see me in order to prevent something bad from happening. Marion opens her eyes. A surge of vitality flows through her body to the point where it feels slightly unnatural. She instantly feels an intense desire to get to the bottom of what is blossoming inside of her. It's over there. Marion quickly heads outside the kingdom. What? I knew it. She had a whole anime cutscene killing her, and this fool got his head ripped off. Yeah, it wasn't going to be permanent. A massive horde of raptures are gathered outside as far as the eye can see. Off in the distance are Indivilia and Chatterbox. My recovery is taking longer than usual. Man, can't the Nikes finish the freaking job? <clears throat> Still, it's a relief. I knew it. Damn it. He got his head ripped off, too. Since that day, you've been able to rebuild your body by consuming others. It's a good thing you were thrown into a throng of raptures. That's such a cheap plot device, but okay, whatever. Chatterbox is here to stay. I guess we have another big battle to look forward to. Putting a part of my core inside your head turned out to be a smart move as well. I mean, she did get that anime cutscene, but at the same time, I think it would have been a shame if this is where we saw the end of Indivilia. I think there's going to be a big showdown later, and I guess they want to keep the roster full. Thanks to you, I've still got my past memories. But that's all. I'm not myself anymore. She sounds like it. With what purpose did you gather this many raptures? Isn't it obvious? I want revenge. What? I'm going to use this entire army to wipe that ridiculous castle off the map. What? The king is there. Think about it. There's no way she could use such incredible power without any constraints. She won't be able to use it again. That's what I feared. And if you're wrong... Yeah, the Naked King seems like a trump card that can only be pulled out every so often. Then we attack again. Time is on our side. They are finite. And we are infinite. We will keep hammering them again and again until that woman's arrogance is broken. Man, we just, we're we done with this event. Oh my gosh. Well, do as you please. I'll be going as soon as... Hello. <gasps> What are you doing here? 
She just shows up all calmly. Hey, what are you doing here? I feel like the question is, why do you guys still exist? Miriam. How did you know? Because <sighs> she has that heretic blood. I mean, how did you make it all the way out here? How did you break through all the raptures? Send them back. And... Don't ever bother this kingdom again. Does she have the power to command them? Why aren't you saying anything? What is this feeling? It's so strange. Did she... Did Marion just become the buffest freaking Nike ever? Do you understand... What I'm telling you? <sighs> Acting almost in on instinct, Indivilia and Chatterbox bow down before Marion. Without even entirely realizing what they're doing. <sighs> Oh my god! I was afraid she was gonna be converted or that she got corrupted somehow. This is the polar opposite! My queen. <gasps> oh. oh my god! Holy shit! That is pivotal! Oh my gosh, I can't believe we have to wait until more story drops. That is nuts! That's a huge development. So, it's kind of cool to see that Marion is, is for sure going to play a pivotal role in like the upcoming battles and stories. But that's also really strange. Why do they see her as the queen? Is she going to be a rival queen? Or is she going to be a satellite queen for the raptures? It seems that Marion is still like thinking straight. So, if anything, this is a huge buff to the cause for reclaiming the surface. Will Crown go through with what she said? Like, having Marion meet with the commander? I'd be so stoked to see what kind of interaction that's going to play out to be. Seeing Marion being more mature. It's hinted in the story that allowing Marion to rejoin the group is a huge motivator for the commander to do what he's been doing. Unlike the other anniversaries, this anniversary event is set in present day, which is really nice because uh, we're used to getting all these prequels, but this actually leads into the development of what exactly is going on right this second in the arc and in the main storyline. Ah, uh, lots to look forward to. Big cliffhanger on the, the story chapters and a big cliffhanger after this kingdom one. This, that was a pretty good conclusion. We know that Chatterbox and Indivili are back. We know that they obey Marion, but it makes me wonder like, why? Like, what is it about Marion that gives her the power to control raptures? We'll have to wait and see.